Hi children, how are you? I think all are fine at your home. Stay at your home and keep your healthy. Okay, today I will teach about continuation of cell structure. Okay, in previous class we have discussed about what is cell and what is their function and how many cell organs are there in you know, a cell and what is their function these are computed in you know, previous lesson today i will teach extra information about cell okay already you know the cell is introduced by or discovered by a famous great scientist is none other than mr robert hook mr robert hook is discovered by cell you know cork cell cork it is one of the dead cell first cell introduced by robert hook you know cork okay that is a non living cell okay i know generally they are calling robert hook is father of cytology what is that father of cytology what is the meaning of cytology cytology means it is one of the branch of science it deals with the cell structure and functions that is a cytology next he wrote one book he wrote one book the book name is called micrographia in this micrographia he wrote many types of cells structures sizes shapes and information about cell totally he wrote information about cell i know one more famous scientist who is that anton von leeuwenhoek anton von leeuwenhoek he is also working in you know, cytology again he discovered by living cell structure first robert chu is discovered by cell but it is dead cell again next anton von leeuwenhoek is discovered by living cell okay now remember it just a differentiation between robert chu kind of anton von leeuwenhoek robert chu is discovered by cell but that is dead cell or dead cell but anton von leeuwenhoek is discovered by living cell that is the main differentiation okay and we even have general we are calling father of bacteriology father of bacteriology okay why we are calling father of bacteriology he studies about the structure of bacteria and functions okay that's why we are calling father of bacteriology and is first living cell introduced by Mr. Anton Von Leeuwenhoek, scientist. Okay. Next one, next to one more famous person, famous scientist that is Dawson. That is Dawson scientist. He is discovered by fluid-like material in the cell. What is the type of material? Fluid-like material in the cell. He named the fluid-like material name is called. What is that? Sarcoid. What is that name? Sarcoid. He gave name. The fluid like material name is sarcoid. After couple of days, after couple of days, one more scientist, one more famous scientist, Mr. Perkin J. Perkin J. He gave name to sarcoid to protoplasm. After discovered, discovered by. fluid like material mr dodgen again parkin jay scientist he named protoplasm the fluid cell fluid material like name is called protoplasm okay that means the the sarcoid is replaced by protoplasm name okay the protoplasm name given by mr parkin jay scientist next one Robert Brown scientist. Robert Brown scientist. He discovered the nucleus. He is 
discovered by nucleus in the cell okay some important scientist some important related cell scientist these are first one robert hook is discovered by dead cell next one anton van leeuwenhoek is discovered by living cell next one dorsal scientist is discovered by fluid like material next parkinson is gave name protoplasm to the soft doll next robert brown he is discovered by nucleus next shape of cell based on the shapes the cells are divided into many types some few examples like cubical shape columnar shape irregular shape spindle shape rectangular shape and biconcave shape these type of the cells are present in our body of animal body let us discuss one by one cube cubical shape cubical cubical shape it present in our know, germinal epithelium okay na in our in our body epithelium tissues are there na and at the germinal epithelium cells it is look like a cubical shape okay like that is a one one shape of cell the second one columnar shape okay na columnar epithelium tissues are uh, tissues present in our body the shape of cells it is look like columnar shape okay na some look like okay these are columnar shapes next one irregular shape there is no particular structure there is no particular shape of the cell that's what we are calling irregular shape example wbc cells in our body wbc cells all about wbc cells it is look like a irregular shapes next to spindle shape in our body organs our body organs it is made up of a smooth muscles the smooth no smooth muscle cells it is look like a spindle shape structure spindle shape structure okay next one rectangular shape okay in some skeletal muscles in our in cells skeletal muscles cells it is look like rectangular shape okay that is rectangular shape of cells are present in you know, skeletal muscles next one is biconcave shape in human bc or bc cells it is look like a biconcave shape okay why because of absence of nucleus you know rbc that's why it is look like a biconcave shape okay some irregular uh, neuron it is one of the cell that is a irregular shape many type of uh, cells are there in our body but few example okay few examples of cells of shapes or uh, cell shapes are examples first one cube cubical shape columnar shape irregular shape spindle shape rectangular shape and biconcave shape okay na this type of this type of shape of cells are present in our body in various places size of cell based on the size the cells are divided into two types smallest and the largest cell in smallest cell examples like pplo pleuro pneumonia like uh, organisms example mycoplasma the size of mycoplasma animals like uh, 0.1 micrometer size the smallest that is a uh, smallest cell in you know, organisms next one uh, largest cell ostrich egg ostrich egg it is one of the largest cell the size of uh, ostrich egg nearly 7 to 7.5 inches 7 to 7.5 inches that is a size of ostrich egg okay the smallest cell pplo the size nearly 0.1 micro 
मीटर लार्जेस्ट सेल ऑस्ट्रेट ने साइज ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेट नियरली सेवन टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इंच टाइप ऑफ सेल्स टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स बेस्ड ऑन द न्यूक्लियस द सेल्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स इन फर्स्ट वन प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल सेकंड वन यूकैरियोटिक सेल प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल्स मींस द प्रोकैरियोटिक वर्ड इट इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम टू वर्ड्स इन फर्स्ट वन प्रो मींस प्राइमेटिव और प्रीमेटिव सेकंड वन कैरियो कैरियोटिक मींस न्यूक्लियस द प्रीमेटिव न्यूक्लियस which is cell it is consisting of a premature nucleus those cells are belongs to prokaryotic cells that means all cells of nucleus which is cell they don't have any nucleus those type of cells are belongs to prokaryotic cell and similarly all cells of nucleus that are all cells are belongs to prokaryotic cells example some bacteria Example bacteria. Bacteria. Okay. Next to eukaryotic cells. You this cell, this cell, the words also derived derived from two words. And you means advance. Karyotic means already you know that nucleus. That means Which cell is consisting of a nucleus? Those cells are belongs to eukaryotic cells. Advance is nothing but present. The presence of nucleus. Which cell is consisting of a nucleus? Those cells are belongs to eukaryotic cells. Example. Fungi. And human. etc like animals we all are also belongs to eukaryotic animals bacteria are belongs to prokaryotic animals next one based on the cell numbers based on the cell numbers the cells are divided into two types first one single or unicell uni cellular organisms uni cellular organisms uni means uni means single single that means the organism body it is made up of only single cell those animals are belongs to unicellular organism example bacteria bacteria okay second one multi multi cellular organism multi means more than one multi multi means more than one more than one cells okay that means the organism body it is made up of more than one cell those animals those organisms are belongs to multicellular organisms such as a best example human humans we all are belongs to multicellular organisms okay one more time zinia based on the cell numbers the animals or organisms are divided into two types in first one unicellular organisms or single cell organisms that means the animal body or organism body it is made up of only single cell with the help of single cell that organism 
are participating in several types of metabolic activities. Those organisms are called unicellular organism. Examples like bacteria, virus, like microorganisms. And second one, multicellular organisms. The organism body it is made up of a number of cells. Number of cells. Those type of organisms are called multicellular organisms. Such as examples like human beings or fishes, rats, amphibians, eggs. Those are belongs to multicellular organisms. Okay? Cell theory discovered by two scientists. So two scientists. Those are none other than Mr. Sleden and Schwann. Sleden and Schwann. He is discovered by cell theory. And the both scientists they said some important points. In first one, all living organisms made up of cells. All living organisms body it is made up of cell. Okay. For example, human being. Our body it is made up of a number of cells. There is no cell where we don't have we don't have any particular structure of hand, structure of eye, structure of head, structure of body. That's why he said what is that? All living organisms made up of cells. All living organisms, organisms and organ systems, organs, total body, it is made up of cells. Okay? And cell is a structural and functional unit. Cell is a structural functional unit. Yes, with help of cell, several type of structures are formed in our body. Okay, I, it is one of the organ, it has one particular structure. Okay, and function, it has one particular function also, vision, observation of objects. That is the function of I. For example, legs. Okay, now, legs, it has one particular structure. With help of legs, we are doing several type of activities such as like walking, jumping, running, etc. That is the function of Legs. Okay? Yes, you will look there. Here, it has one particular structure. And you are listening in the class. That is a function. Are you understand? That's why he said so there is a structural and a functional unit of each living thing. There is no cell, there is no structure. There is no structure, there is no function. That is a, a basic unit of life is called cell. Okay? Next, each cell it consisting of one particular function. Each cell it is consisting of one particular particular function. Okay. For example, eye cell, it is a it is participating observation of many objects. That is a function of eye cell. Okay, and skin. Skin cell, it is protecting our inner organs. That is a function of skin. So, each cell, it have one particular function. Okay? This type of information, we get and Sean, they are introduced. And there is a cell theory. After, after cell theory, Mr. Rodolf, the scientist, he gave one important point. What is that? The cells arise from pre-existing cell. The cells means the new cells or arise from pre-existing cells. In for you know after after lifespan of cell, the cell is total. The cells are totally died. Next what? That means the pre-existing cells they are arising. They are producing new cells. This one introduced by Mr. Rodal scientist. After they are calling the cell theory, it is becoming a 
modern modern cell theory okay the cell theory first of all discount kare stay at hands on the said some important points first one all living organisms body it is made up of a cell i know the cell is a structure and functional unit each cell is consisting of one particular function after rodolf he said the cells arise from pre existing cells that means the new cells arising or arise from pre existing cells that is a modern cell theory now we are learning that is modern cell theory the structure of cells already we are discussing prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells based on the nucleus we have divided the cells are two types prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells now we will discuss about prokaryotic cell structure okay a structure of prokaryotic cell okay first of all prokaryotic cell means the absence of nucleus there is no nucleus in this cells example bacteria best example bacteria that means now we are studying about bacteria structure same bacteria is one of the same in cell are and that's what we are studying about now bacteria structure of prokaryotic cell structure okay next look at here the first the an organism body is totally covered by one layer the layer name is called plasma membrane plasma membrane then about the surface of the plasma membrane one more a thick layer is there thick layer located the surface of the plasma membrane that is called cell wall the cell wall it is made up of peptidoglycan substance peptidoglycan substance the substance is nothing but a two type of components the first one peptide peptide it is nothing but that is one of the protein component and glycan it is one of the carbohydrates that means the cell wall it is made up of proteins and carbohydrate compounds with help of protein with help of carbohydrate prokaryotic cell wall or form okay it is look like a thick layer what is the function of cell wall it is protecting in cell organelles or it is protecting to the unfavorable conditions a external environment that is the main function of a cell wall okay in next one you know the inside a fluid like a jelly like substance present in the inside of the prokaryotic cell the fluid like material name is called cytoplasm what is that cytoplasm okay in this cytoplasm some more areas the plasma membrane arising some fluid like projections folds like projections the projection name is called mesosomes what is that mesosomes what is the main functions of mesosomes it it consisting of respiratory enzymes what is that respiratory enzymes with help of respiratory enzymes they are participating respiration process so as well as like in mitochondria you know eukaryotic animals okay okay in eukaryotic animals mitochondria are participating cellular respiration but you know prokaryotic as animals with help of my mesosomes the cells are participating respiration process i 
Look there here. You know, in some of one side, irregular, irregular shape attached to the plasma membrane. The irregular shape name is called DNA. DNA. There is no nucleus in this prokaryotic animals. Prokaryotic animals. But the DNA is look like irregular shape and it is attached to the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Or oh, generally they are called nucleotide. DNA or nucleotide. Okay. Some regular shape. Some regular shape DNA material are present in you know, DNA. You know, Prokaryotic animal that is called plasmids. What is that? Plasmids. Okay. Plasmids are present or not in the base on the plasmids. It is divided into two types positive and negative. With help of strain, we are using you know strains. With help of strain, we are identifying which type of bacteria that is. Positive bacteria or negative bacteria? Gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria? If it is present, the plasmid is present, the animal or the bacteria it is belongs to positive bacteria. Gram positive bacteria. If plasmid is absent, the bacteria it is belongs to gram negative bacteria. That is the plasmid. Okay? And Next one, in the cytoplasm, some a granules like a dots like a uh, pass or appear in cytoplasm. The name is called the granules like the dots like a pass name is called ribosomes. As such, ribosomes. Okay, the seven days ribosomes are present in you prokaryotic animals. I know YTS ribosomes are present in you know, eukaryotic animals. Okay, after we will discuss about what is the seven days and what is the YTS and what is the subunits of seven days ribosomes and YTS ribosomes. We will discuss later. Okay, in the cell organelle uh, topic, we will discuss about it. Okay, I know next one, next one, I unfavorable conditions. Unfavorable conditions, the cell and surface of the cell, cell wall, a jelly like materials appeared on cell wall. The capsules like material or appeared on cell wall. Okay, that is that is that is the name is called capsules. It is protecting to the bacteria in unfavorable conditions. There is no any cell organelle in our side of bone. That is a that is a prokaryotic animals. And one more important part is there that is called flagella. The flagella it is look like a long thread like structure. Long thread like structure. Some bacteria it consisting of one, two or more flagellates. More flagellates. What is the main function of plasma? It is participating in a locomotion. What is that? Locomotion process. In some bacteria, body is totally covered by the small flagella. Those are equal in a locomotion process. Locomotion is nothing but movement. Okay? That is a prokaryotic cell structure. Okay? What is the main important parts in prokaryotic, prokaryotic organisms? First one, cell wall. It is made up of peptidoglycan substance. Plasma membrane. Third one, mesosomes, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and plasmids, DNA material, or nucleoids, and Flagella. Okay. In DNA, there is no any cell membrane. There is no any nucleotide membrane. It is near DNA. Remember it. It is 
naked DNA and irregular cell. That's what we are calling prokaryotic cell. There is no any nucleus membrane. That's what we are calling prokaryotic element. Absence of who? The absence of nucleus in this cell. That's what we are calling prokaryotic cells or prokaryotic organisms. Based on the organisms, the cells. It is divided into two types the plant cell and the animal cell. Plant cell and animal cell. That means the plants also belong to eukaryotic. Animals also it is belongs to eukaryotic cells. That means plant cell and animal cell is consisting of nucleus. That's why the both are both living organisms are belongs to eukaryotic cells. Okay. After in previous class, we have discussed about plant cell and no animal cell. The structure of plant cell and no animal cell. Okay? This is our topic today. Thank you. Thank you so much.